beautiful soul soul whisperer here and i'm just in the mood for a bit of a ramble i don't know what happened <laughs> suddenly i think i've seen a couple of uh, uh astrologers talking about the upcoming eclipse energies recently and i don't usually watch very many astrology videos just once in a while and um speaking of astrology Quan, my friend, will be back with me live tomorrow, Sunday, um, March 31st, to talk about the solar eclipse and to talk about the retrograde of Mercury and how it's impacting us in our lives and how we can move forward utilizing these energies. So do join us tomorrow. I think that's... Um, 11 o'clock Central Standard Time, U.S. But anyway, I've been relatively unscathed. I have a, f a friend who has a, a group that I'm a part of, and I frequently, the ladies in that group are talking about all kinds of things they're going through, mostly physical symptoms that have to do with the solar flares and the Schumann resonance. And none of that stuff really gets me because... I don't know, I just have always, you know, it hasn't impacted me the way many others. And sometimes I wonder, sometimes I wonder about myself thinking, uh, gee, I never get, you know, the heads, head, head pains and aches. And I mean, I get them, but I guess I don't notice them like anything special. I don't, they don't, they aren't singled out for me. I just have a sturdy body and I, you know, I just, I guess adjust as things are happening or adapt. Anyway, so usually I'm unscathed. For some reason today I woke up and I remember hearing one of the astrologers say, you know, if you're Aries, Libra, Cancer, or Capricorn, the effect of the eclipse energies are really going to impact you or if you have whatever degrees in those signs or near or whatever. Still, because I'm not an astrologer, I don't know the significance really. I know that eclipses are powerful. I know that eclipses mean letting go of things. And um, I know they play out over, you know, the following six months or so. Nevertheless, I just didn't really think much about it. But I woke up today, taught my classes, released the, um, the energy of the... Uh, month for April that I did, the tarot reading I did for the energy of April. And then I just, you know, wanted to catch up on some videos that, you know, I've just been waiting on the side. And one thing kept popping up on my page and I thought, who is this beautiful, striking woman um, on The Voice? Because I love to watch The Voice or shows like that because I'm a musician, I'm a singer, I love hearing other people express and they re relate their talent. So I came across this woman and I have to look her, her up because I'm not remembering her name right now. <clears throat> Contestant on The Voice. Uh, I think it's Olika or something like that. She's from Cameroon, West Africa. And, and this is, must be in France or somewhere because they're all speaking French. But she's so beautiful and elegant. And I just was captivated. And then I noticed after the fact that she walked with a cane. And for some reason, her song, even though they had the lyrics in English, but I was listening with my emotions to her voice and I, it just really moved me. And her grace and elegance moved me. And then I saw another one, uh, a man from, I think he's from England, Buckingham, he said, so England. And he was, he's 59 years old. And he sang, um, whose song was he singing? Billie Eilish. I never heard the song. I've only heard her name before. I didn't know. But he sang it exquisitely. And all of a sudden, like I'm in my feels in a deep way. Now music has the power to do that in general, and it impacts me in general, but I feel particularly receptive and emotional today. And so I shared this song with a couple of friends and in my group, and I just thought, oh my goodness, I'm so maudlin. And then I saw one more, a young man, and he's from Australia, and he has some kind of physical um, 
defect. I, I, I don't know what it is. And he sang once I was seven and where I'd never heard any of these songs. The first young lady, the African woman, she sang a song by London Grammar. So I'd never heard of any of these songs, any of these people, but each one of these individuals just like dove into my heart today and opened it up. So I'm just feeling like, what do I do with this energy? And it reminded me as well, because yesterday when I was doing that reading for today, for the April energy, I remember one of the cards that came up was patience um, in the Oracle card. And as soon as it did, I could hear that song and I couldn't place it. And I went looking for it after the fact. There's a song from the movie Dream Girls, movie that I really liked and enjoyed a lot. Eddie Murphy sings this song in this movie, Patience. So I was already feeling it because after doing that reading, I was thinking, you know, we're going to need that to get through this bit of time, certainly this year, but beyond. But it's a very hopeful song for people who, you know, like me being Aries temperament, you know, there's that impulse and whatever. But for people who don't like to be told to be patient, you know, this song brings out the beauty. And if you can sit in the grace of that energy, you can, you know, feel the hopefulness of a new day. So I posted that on my community page on YouTube because it just was moving me. So I'm hearing all this music and it's all in me and I needed to tell somebody. <laughs> so here I am making a random video. I had no intention of making any kind of videos after that. I still have to do the tarot temp for next week and I have this uh, live with Tra uh, with uh, Quan tomorrow. So I wasn't thinking about it, but I wanted to express and I thought that I would you know, wondering if there are other people who are feeling what I'm feeling. It's, you know, very emotional, not in a negative way, but in a deeply feeling way where you can feel, you know, the, you can feel the joy and the pain and the sorrow of others. And that you, you can feel it as if it's yours. You know, that's what an empath does. And yes, but but beyond that, I think more people, I feel like more people are feeling these days that the hypnosis that we have been under, that the sort of numbness that we are, you know, living just so we can live our lives and cope, you know, and make it from day to day, because we really hadn't had time to take notice of all the things going on around us and you know we just doing what we can to hang on and hold on and move forward we got to pay bills you know we got to take care of our families we've got to you know hold on for something for ourselves and just doing that to hold everything together puts us puts us in a bit of a trance or a numbness so we can just live through the experience of the energies that are just pounding us and that are happening and in flooding the planet. And so, but I think because of that, because of the time, the cosmic time we're in, because of the import of this moment in history, because of the astrological energies bombarding us, and because it's necessary that we understand humanity, that this moment is crucial for us and that we must hold on and move forward and we have to do it together. We have to do it in a unity. We have to move forward so that we can have something more than just living day to day, being numbed out, trying to cope and hold on. Don't you want more than that? I want more than that. And I think in this special energy, and maybe it's ecliptic, I don't know, but when you get to feeling and you can get into your feelings, that hard shell, that numbness begins to loosen up and the hard shell begins to crack and the and the energy of just being numbed out and just doing what you can't just get from day to day to day opens up a little crevice where a little light can come in where a little hope can come in where a little possibility can be even considered and everybody's not feeling that but a lot of somebody's are 
And I guess I just wanted to ramble about it a little bit today. And I wanted to pull a couple of cards um, just to see if there's anything special because of how I'm feeling and how others might be feeling in this here moment. I mean, wow, you know, wow. So it's like what I'm feeling is not only that other people's energy and feelings, but I'm I'm feeling that inner that underneath, like on top of whatever is going on out there, how that energy is out there and flurry and wanting us to be scared and wanting us to be so wrapped up that we can't think about our choices and we can't consider what's going on. That's what it's wanting and it's stirring like, you know, tornado and it's it's, you know, getting faster and faster but underneath that I feel that that light you know a little bit of hope coming in moving up and it's coming through breakthrough for the sake of humanity because somebody loves us and somebody said enough you've had enough but you must realize that you've had enough wake up you must seize the power. And by that, I mean, you must know that you are deserving of something more than simply surviving, of something, something more than stumbling from day to day and trying to hold on and hang on and hold on and make something so you don't fall apart. There's that little bit of light creeping in and this time is part of it. Even though this time is about breaking open, you know, so you can see bringing up the things that have been in the dark so you can see, see what's going on out there. And rather than being overwhelmed by the sheer massiveness of what is going to unfold, you're going to think about that little bit of light coming in until it gets bigger and brighter and shines deeper or brighter and wider. And you feel it and you remember you're not just meant here to go through the paces to just live a life and then you die that you were here for something more you were here to you know grow and remember and learn and be happy and and be prosperous you weren't meant to be a slave you weren't meant to suffer and just endure it didn't mean that you weren't supposed to have lessons or pain or troubles but you were supposed to remember at the end of the day what mattered and that through that knowledge and and memory, you would then understand how to get through and go through. Well, now I think the, sh the shells are cracking for people. And I think, you know, it's it's that bit of hope now springing through, like I say, coming up like the 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 seed sprouts and a little sprout comes in through the ground and you are aware that there is new life. And that there is hope there. Patience. Oh, I, you gotta go listen to that song from Dream Girls. Patience from the soundtrack. It's beautiful. You know, just to give you that energy and that thought about what is possible, you can feel the hope in it. Something better is coming, and it is. But in the meantime, you can't, you know, I'm encouraging you. Don't be overwhelmed by the sights and the sounds and the stories and all the things out there. Be inspired by in here. Be inspired to know that something is carrying you forward, you know, and let that be the light that is springing through and helping you remember and helping you see beyond appearances, helping you see beyond all the goings on. Oh, this one over here has got caught with this material and this one is cheating and these are doing that. And no, 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 no. Human beings don't get locked in minutia. Don't get locked in the details. Don't get locked in the stories. Don't get locked in the what you are seeing. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain because it's an illusion. What can you Imagine with that little bit of light coming up for tomorrow. What can you see coming even though you can't see it with your eyes? What can you know? What can you know? That's why you're encouraged to go within and listen. Because that's the thing that's going to carry you through and you're going to remember. You came here for something more. You came here for something better. 
patience. Little darling, patience, patience. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. I just feel, I'm just in my feels today. And yeah, sharing it. So um, let me just gonna pull three cards from the signs of the times and see if there's anything I can just share with you oracularly speaking. Patience, little darling. Patience, patience. And all those three songs, so beautiful. I would tell you go look up the voice. I think her name is Olika. Beautiful, beautiful woman from Cameroon. Scott is his name. If you maybe you put up the voice, Scott and um, Billie Eilish's Listen or Listen Before I Go. I think that was the song. And then the voice, Scott, Australia. And When I Was Seven, I think those will all come up. Beautiful. Crack me open a little bit today. And it's, you know, a good thing because we, you know, your feelings can be good. Your feelings out of control can make you, you know, react and respond. But feelings also help you know you're alive. And when it's helping you know in a good way, helping you remember that, you know, we are one. We are not, you know, we look different. We we have so many differences of birth, of, you know, who we are and what we look like and what we feel about things going on out there. But we're really one and we're really encouraged to remember that your pain is my pain. Your joy is my joy at the end of the day. And we've forgotten it. And we forget it every day because we're fighting and we're thinking about all the differences and we want to quibble about it and we want to make them more important than love. And nothing is more important than love, unless it's compassion. Anyway, yes, sir, Rebob, let's see what. Patience, patience, patience. Recycle, hmm. Recover. Hello again. Oh, this card I've drawn several times in some readings. Mountains. Hmm. Clouds. Okay. Anchor. One more. Hmm. Skull. Patience. So now you got to we got to know that this is a time when we are in recovery. Recovery of our humanity, recovery of our understanding of our empowerment, understanding who we are, understanding that we are loved. We've got to recover from the beat down of having been told that we are nothing. And what I can say for the the ones out there now who are, you know, whose agenda it is to make us feel afraid, very, very afraid, to make us give up our power by Convincing us something is more convenient or convincing us we're doing something bad if we don't or convincing us that, you know, um, we should be glad that they want to do these things for us. We got to recover our sense of empowerment. We got to recover our humanity. And that means caring for ourselves and each other, not buying in for the sake of convenience and what's easy. What's easy can take you down a dark road to your own destruction. Easy for easy sake. And that's what it's all about today. I don't want to digress too much, but this this card recycle, it says recover. So for me, it means recovering your humanity, 
recovering a knowledge, uh, remembering of who you are and what you are. It's recouping our losses, healing from past hurts. In this case, the past hurts are being in disempowered beings for eons, for millennia. But as we go, it deteriorates more and more. Some would say, you know, we're at the end of the Kali Yuga and we're now in the rising Dwapara Yuga. But it's a process, right? And in that that long period of time of the Kali Yuga, we, we've been at the, you know, humanity's uh, pits of, uh, you know, just destruction and wickedness and everything. And in this moment, it's about recovery. Even when there are obstacles or feeling like there are obstacles, do not be dissuaded, do not be dismayed and do not be dissuaded from knowing that good is coming, from knowing that you deserve something. Sometimes the obstacles are just put in there to help you push against, to help you remember that you have the strength to go forward, to go through, to go around, to do whatever is necessary, but that the mountain in of itself can't stop you. It just, you know, it looms large, it looms big, and it might make you afraid and, you know, you might want to succumb to it. It can be very intimidating and even feel overwhelming. But whatever obstacles are put in the way, you have the ability to find the way to solve them, go around them, dissipate them, remove them from your experience. In this moment, you need to remember that whatever is playing out and impacting you emotionally or in any other way, the message for the moment is you're in a state of recovery. You have the creative power and possibility of, you know, not letting things stop you unless you yield to it, unless you give up, unless you don't remember. You build yourself spiritually when you look at those obstacles and you say, there is a way. I know there is a solution and I'm open to the solution. I can't see it right now. All I can see is this mountain but there is a solution. And being facing this is building that spiritual strength in me. Huh. And right now, plenty of distractions, which is what clouds, the clouds card is about. And with those distractions, and you might find yourself getting in your head, thinking, thinking, thinking. Oh my goodness, or second guessing yourself or, you know, taking the bait of whatever it is out there that's on the stage for your attention and your awareness. This is a person that can't focus. This is a person who's easily distracted. In this time, don't let yourself get distracted because you saw a mountain up ahead and you saw it as an obstacle and you didn't know how to get around it. And it might make you feel like, you know, you're making excuses for not recovering, making excuses for not thinking beyond, out of the box and beyond what you see. And you're being distracted and you're avoiding things. That's what clouds is all about. Nevertheless, whatever you may think, whatever we may think at this time, we, you know, we may forget that in this energy, we also have an anchor. An anchor is something that keeps things from moving. Like when you throw an anchor down on a boat, it can't drift away. And you have an anchor. And you have, which means stability, which is what this card means. And it, it is both that we have that, we have to recognize it and see it. And both we're being encouraged. Don't let these distractions and these obstacles make you feel that you have no stability and that you are you're unsure because distractions might make you you know your judgment cloudy okay you can't see straight and obstacles may make you afraid 
Don't let that be the be all end all trying to stabilize yourself in the world. Do the right thing first, which is seek, well, how does it go? Seek the kingdom within you and all things will be added to you, as scripture says, okay? You've got to know that we're in a time of endings. Oh, yes, we are. This is a time of transformation. And it's at hand with this card. It might bring up, like I say, this energy right now explains, at least to me, some of the emotion. Because it might be about, endings are about letting go. They're about releasing grief. They're about um, transforming things from one thing to another. And that might cause you, you know, letting go of people or letting go of the way it was or letting go of situations or letting go of things may put you in your feels. You may feel a loss. You may feel a sadness, but you got to understand that just as things are ending, new things are beginning. And this card signifies something you can't change, something you must adapt to. So in this moment, know that there may be all these things going on, bringing distractions, which brings confusion, which brings a sense of helplessness because you feel something is looming large and you don't know how to deal with it. When you get in this moment, understand that it is a process of recovery and it's a process of endings, okay? This is skull and this is recycle. Recovering your wholeness, your power, your memory, your knowledge, endings of what has been, letting go, saying goodbye, even though it may bring grief and sadness, ultimately it's a good thing. Trust that there is something greater than you that's in you that has the best in store for you. And if you trust in it, you will get through these things. You won't be you won't be believing your lying eyes. You won't be just putting your store by the things in the world, seeking your stability from things in the world, being distracted by, you know, an overactive mind and making you think about things that you are seeing or hearing and obstacles that may look to be in your way. And somebody outside of you may be telling you, I got the solution for you. No, 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 no. The solution is within you. If there's anything you need to know, this time of endings and, and recovery is about you knowing who you are. It's about you knowing that you have the power. It's about knowing that there is no thing so great. There is nothing that can't be, there's a solution for every problem, uh, Wayne Dyer said uh, in his book. Find that solution by trusting on in the God in you. Explains to me a little bit why, you know, the upcoming energy and the energy of the moment that just may have us, you know, looking at things that seem larger than life and making us feel out of control, mind and, and our emotions. And that may make us seek for answers outside to make us stable. The answers are inside. The answers are here in the transformation. The answers are here in the reclamation of our identities and sense of wholeness. You got to speak that even when you can't see that. You've got to know that even when you don't know that. You got to just step up to the plate. Wow. So I hope that message is useful. You know, uh, that you can find something. It makes sense to me, you know. Um, and I think there's much more of that to come. So the strength that you garner now in this moment, you know, the, you know, the tests that seem to be tests out there are helping you build yourself spiritually and giving you strength for days ahead that may be more challenging. Reflect on this. Understand this. Give yourself a different message about what you're seeing and hearing than that, you know, trouble, trouble, trouble. Understand it's testing your metal. It's giving you the opportunity to see things in a different way. That was what the uh, reading um, in April suggests. When we come out of this month, 
we're going to have made some kind of shift of perspective, of our thoughts, of our mind, of our steps. And it's like all that we're seeing and experiencing now are making us stronger, making us better. Yeah, see it that way. Well, okay, I think I've gotten things off my chest. And um, yeah, I pray that there is something for you here. Thank you for listening. May you feel the love that is everlasting, that is with you and for you and in you. May you remember that when these things happen and they're going to be with us for a while yet. We've got a lot to go through this year. May you remember the things that matter. Well, thank you for listening and I'm going to say goodbye now. And uh, yes, thank you for allowing me to ramble. And until we meet again, keep your thoughts high. Keep your emotions in check. Feeling your emotions is good when it's giving you empathy. And when you remember before you judge someone else, you also know what that feels like but not when your emotions are taking you out of control and you are reacting in fear and in anger, etc. Remember that within you is something that will guide you through these days and times and you are to align with that. I call it your inner divine. Your slice of the greater divine. Don't you forget it. And if you don't know it, it's time. But until I see you again, my friends, thank you so much. Peace. Peace be with you. But for now, goodbye.